Hi and welcome to the first tutorial I've written or uh, filmed or recorded, however you want to call it, in uh, about two years. Um, so I may make quite a few mistakes, but bear with me. Um, I'm mainly making these uh, to support my GCSE students through the NEA task, which they're going to have to do. Uh, these tutorial videos are going to work on some skills which I think are going to be really useful. They're going to build on some skills I've already covered in some of my other tutorial videos, but it's going to be kind of similar but different to the NEA tasks that they're going to be asked to do over the next uh, few years. So uh, let's go straight into it. The first skill I want to look at is using CSV files. Now, I've written a CSV file here. Uh, the file contains an email address, a first name, a last name and a nickname. So I'm just going to remove that header for the moment. Um, and uh, you can see that this file contains this information and it's they're separated. The elements of the data are separated by these commas. So CSV file stands for comma separated values. Um, and we are going to take this data and stick it into the uh, Python file and so we can use it. So how do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is import a module called CSV. OK, uh, this comes uh, this is available when you uh, install Python. You don't have to download and install any special mods. It's just there for you. Now, um, what we're going to do is the first thing I want to show you is actually just how you access that, the data and we're just going to print each row of our CSV file into uh, or out onto the console. OK, so let's open the file. So open with and um, we'll put in here the uh, file name. So the file name in this case is called data file .txt. I've got the, uh, the file up here um, and I'm going to use a little piece of code here called new line and I'm going to say equals um, uh, sort of like a end of line character so we know when the end of the row has been reached and I'm going to say open this file as CSV file now you can call this anything you like um, just make sure you use that all the time and you'll see where I'm using it in the in the code uh, as we move along so um, open uh, with oh I've got that no, the wrong way around it's with open uh, open the the data file with a new line as CSV file. Right, nearly made that mistake. So rows uh, are going to be equal to CSV. So that's the module we're importing. And in CSV, there's this really cool um, function called reader. Uh, we're going to use our CSV file. That's the same name uh, that I've used up here. So we're going to open that file and we're going to tell it how the pieces of data are uh, separated so it's the delimiter is equal to uh, they're delimited by this comma now if I used other things in here like um, I don't know plus plus for example then I would have to change this piece of text to uh, plus plus okay but they are not plus plus they are commas so let me just make sure I change that back otherwise the code will not work okay so uh, we're going to basically create uh, or suck in all the data and what I want to do then is go for row in rows. I'm just going to print the row. Now if I run this piece of code, you'll see that the why well, I've got an error. What's the error? Uh, I'm, oh, I've made a spelling mistake is what I have done. Delimiter. Let's spell it right. Okay. <clears throat> Try again. So you will see that I'm able to suck in the data and it spits it out as lots of lists. So each row becomes a list. OK, so let's now store that data. So the easiest way to do it is create a file, uh, a data structure. So let's call it data. Um, and I'm going to set it to an empty list. And instead of printing the row, what I'm going to do is say data.append and I'm going to append the row into that data file. Now, the reason I like using with is I don't have to close the file when I'm done. It's now going to close the file automatically and I can start using data however I want. So let's say for item in data, let's just print the item. Let's just see that the output is exactly the same as it was before. 
The only difference is now, so the outputs are exactly the same. The only difference is this uh, data is stored in a list called item. And actually this list is, um, if I just print the data, you'll see that it's a list containing lists. Okay, so here's the first one. And you can see that it's a list that contains one list, another list, two, and another list, three lists. And those three lists um, I can print separately. And because they're lists, it also means I can print individual items of that list. Um, so I could say, for example, for each item in the list, so you can see this was the first item. Okay, this one here, that's the first item. I can actually say, well, let's just print the email address. So let's print position zero. Now let's see the output of that. And you can see now I'm just printing the email address of that, of each list. So element zero of the first list, element zero of the second list, and element zero of the third list, okay? So really, really powerful, really easy. Um, I can also do some other things. So for example, if I don't want it to be in a list, I could stick it in a dictionary. So I could say my data is actually going to be a dictionary instead. Now that's, uh, instead of using square brackets, I'm gonna use curly braces. And what I'm going to say instead of this, I'm gonna remove this now, I'm gonna say, uh, let's, for each dictionary item, I'm gonna have a list that contains the other bits of information. And I'm gonna, remember a dictionary is something that uses a key value pair. So a dictionary uses key value pairs. So when I type in the key, what is returned is the value. And in this case, what I want it to be is something like the key is equal to the email address and the value is equal to a list containing, uh, what was my structure? It was a uh, uh, first name, last name and uh, the um, nickname. So for example, what I can then say is, right, I want it to be like, uh, if I type in print, something like uh, data position um, Andy at, uh, what did I put, Andy Linsky at youtube.com. That is not actually my email address. It would be cool if I worked for YouTube, but I don't. Um, and then I, I, if I type that in, what is returned should be the rest of this data. So it should say um, the following in the following format, like this. Um, but it will also have these sort of like speech marks because it is sucking it in as text. Okay, um, if I wanted it to not be text, I'd obviously have to change it to an int and, and things like that. But anyway, it's in as text initially. That also means I can do things like um, print the data and then I also want uh, position zero and that should return position zero of the list, which will mean it will return Andy. All right, so that's the idea. So let's just test it. So for row and rows, I'm going to add into data the first part. So that would be position zero of my list. And um, I'm then going to, so data dot position zero um, is equal to uh, and then what I want to do is append, uh, no, it's equal to row position one to the end, okay? So that should uh, print it out for me. That should, that should create the dictionary for me. So let's just test that out. So uh, for key in data, print um oh, let's, let's just print the let's just print the data and let's just check that it's worked so there we go so we have got a dictionary 
Yes, we have got dictionary, which has a key and then its value here. So let's just make it a little bit easier. For key in data, print the key, uh, the key, um, no data, key, yeah, this is what we want. We'll print the key uh, and let's print the key data. Yeah, we'll just do that just to kind of make it a little bit easier for you at the moment. So um, we've got, the, these are the, it's printing not the key, but it's printing the uh, values. Um, so we want the key as well, don't we? We want to go key, comma, and then the data. So let's have a look. There we go. So now we've got the key being printed, followed by the values. This means I can then, like I said, let's just test this other idea out. We also just want to now print, let's just print the nicknames. So the nicknames are at the end of the file. So I can actually, because I know there are three elements, I can do position two. So we'll, we'll try that idea out. Uh, so Andy Linsky is known as Cool Dude. Neo at matrix.com is called Neo. Stefani German. Uh, Germanotta um, is Lady Gaga. Um, so I could do minus two or I can say minus one. Okay, so that's basically how you can take data from a CSV file and put it into a Python uh, file, put into a Python program. You can put the data into a list or you can put it into a dictionary. Um, you can do a whole range of different things, but essentially the, the thing that you need to remember is how to get the data. And it's basically those, those three lines are the main ways of getting, or the main three lines you need to remember to get the data out of the CSV file. What you do with it after then, well, is up to you. That's where the fun part comes from. Okay, so I hope you've uh, found that tutorial useful and I will uh, start writing up the next one.